at first you don't succeed, procrastinate. You laugh, but that's a mantra that I, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you, live by to the fullest. Readers, this Rius Rights is a topic that for a lot of you is a very good breath of fresh air. However, for a lot of us, me included, it can be the scariest shit possible. I'm of course making the active decision of writing out of your comfort zone. Now, writing out of your comfort zone can be both rewarding and stressful because let's just say you always wanted to write in a genre that you were always interested in writing in, but you don't necessarily know where to start. Which makes absolute sense. If I was writing mecha sci-fi all my life, I would not know where to start as far as writing a, like a, a coming of age story. Okay, maybe that was a bad example. But that's pretty much how I felt comfortable branching out into different genres. And how I felt comfortable making that plunge was due to two decisions. The first one is to try and incorporate the new genre that you want to learn how to write in, in the genre that you're already feeling comfortable in writing. This decision helped me out as far as branching out as a writer with the stories that I wanted to tell, but only had experience in one specific genre. For example, I couldn't write straight up romance worth shit. But after mixing it in with the superhero and action adventure genre, I had a chance. The more I mix it in with genres that I'm already comfortable in, the more experience I get, and the more willing I am to test drive that genre alone on its own. Then there's the other route that I go, which lately has been my most used route. And that's to write in genres that you're already a fan of and appreciate. And I say that because it's, that's pretty much what I've been doing since Jump Street. I loved superheroes and wanted to create my own stories, so I did it. The Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings trilogy along with other fantasy stories inspired me to create my own epic fantasy series. Being a fan of Indiana Jones MacGuffin based adventure stories made me want to try my hand at it. Etc. 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 The only thing about this method is that if you want to do this right and come off as both genuine and original, you have to do your research. It's not like the first method where you can sprinkle a bit of the unknown into your bread and butter until you get a good feel of it. How you do that though, we'll cover in the next video. But until then readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comments section below a genre that's a bit out of your comfort zone when it comes to writing stories. If you want to check out the published works that I've written, you can check out my Amazon author page by clicking at the link in the description box below. And if you want to help support the channel, you can purchase official merchandise by clicking the card at the end of the video and the link in the description down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed.